Hey folks, Red here. I'm about to teach you how to put the Graco 5-way pack and play together with the mat sitting at the bassinet level. Um, a lot of people are confused by the netting and the poles. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to make it stand up so it's just protecting him from bugs. What I do know, however, is that the poles and the netting work in conjunction together to to raise the mat to bassinet level. Now what you want to do is you want to start by putting the poles together, which is a teeny tiny difficult doing one-handed, but entirely possible. You have the red end at one end and the not red end at the other. We're going to put the other pole together. And if you are doing this between your legs, I recommend putting the not red end between your legs. And if you are putting this together one handed for whatever reason, say you have a baby in the other hand or what have you, it's all about the wrist movement. All about the wrist movement. So you have your two poles. And you have your net thing. And your net thing's pretty big. Uh, you want to locate the side with the Velcro tab, so you want to make sure that's facing up. The sides with the snaps, those go on the short ends. And what you want to do is you want to take the poles and you want to thread them through the long ends. Have the long end, and we're just going to go in and thread the pole through the long end. And see, the pole's poking out on the other side. And we're going to do the other side. And I like to make sure that both the red sides are on the same side and both the non-red sides are on the same side. Um, maybe I'm OCD. Maybe it makes life a little easier. Who really knows for sure? Once again, if you're doing this one-handed, say you have a baby in one hand or what have you, or in my case, a cell phone with a video camera, you thread the pole through the long end. And then you got your nut on poles. And what you want to do is you want to take the non-red end of the pole and on the short end, you can't really see it that well in the video, but there's a little notch right there. Uh, that discoloration is actually the floor showing through in the little notch. And you want to take the non-red end and put it in the notch. Oops. And then you go to the other end. See, the red end has a little lever mechanism. And there's another notch on the other end. Pull back the lever. And it goes in and out, right? So that's side one. And we're going to do side two. And remember, you want to do the non-red end first because it doesn't, it's, it's static. It doesn't do the whole latchy thing. And then you pull back and you put it in. Now, this seems like it may not be the safest thing in the world at first to you. Then you realize that the short ends with the snaps actually fold over and snap into place, which you always want to do safety first. Safety is the most important thing with babies. They're surprisingly durable, yet still incredibly fragile. So you want to make sure that whatever you're doing involving your baby is entirely safe. See the little snap, 
and then you just snap it on snap it on like such and you want to do that to both sides there's actually four snaps in all and for the sake of time I'm not actually going to put my baby in the pack and play right now so you know no need to worry too much about safety when you do put your baby in though worry about safety um, I'm just going to snap the end snaps real quick like. Now you notice that there's little velcro squares on either side of the net. What you want to do is you want to take the mat and on the end with the writing, which is the bottom side, you want to locate the corresponding velcro squares can't see it that well in the video, but I guarantee you there's two on each side. And what you want to do is you want to put the mat down with the Velcro squares first. And once again, if you're doing this one-handed, say you have a baby, or in my case, a cell phone with a video camera, it's not that easy. <laughs> um, Right. You want to get your mat situated, and then you want to locate the Velcro. And the way I do this is I pick up the Velcro and I attach it to the mat. Pick up the Velcro, attach it to the mat, and then you press the mat down into place. We're going to do this on the other side. Once again, we're going to pick up the Velcro. And attach it to the mat. Pick up the Velcro. Attach it to the mat. If you have cats, you can let them in the pack and play. Um, cat hair actually isn't but so harmful to babies. Now, if your kid has an allergy, yeah, there's going to be some issues. But for the most part, cat hair will not kill your baby. Uh, it's probably best that they don't ingest so much of it. It is very fine, and it is easy to breathe in, and it does cause a sort of gagging thing, which isn't fun. But there you have it. It's pretty safe. Pretty easy to set up, all things considered. Not a whole lot of work to it. And, uh, it's, it's good. And there you have it. Attaching the bassinet portion of the pack and play.